This is last lap. Try to do as much as you can. D'Ambrosio covering the inside line. It was Lucas. Uh, De Grassi up the inside and Verline goes straight no. on. And he cuts the chicane and he doesn't stop. And that's in the regulations. And this is going to run and run. The who is going to win the e -Prix unless the BMW of Da Costa gets involved as well. Here they come. <laughs> Verline's got 1%. Mortara's got four more. I think Mortara's probably the only guy getting there to well, the finish. He's gone from sixth the, to fourth. The Nissans are out of this one. Verline, can he get to the line before he hits zero percent? That's going to be the big question. Who's going to win it. the Mexico City Epre? Degrassi goes for it. Verline covers. He's defending like an absolute wide demon. demon. <laughs> Here comes Verline out of the final zero. corner. He hits zero. zero. Degrassi Flat wins. Away, minimum distance. Flat all the way. Degrassi ah. wins. <laughs> Surely De Costa is second, and surely Mortara is third. I try to put pressure on him, make him use energy, and then in the last corner he just slow down, try to close the door, and I cross the line sideways. Five second time penalty for Max Gunter. Watch Evans. The collision. Evans to the inside. Oh, he's lost it. Oh, Evans in the Jaguar spins. Oh, well held. Keeps it together. Only falls down into fifth position, so doesn't actually lose any places. Can he get the win? Sims is every time since and De Vries goes right now. De Vries does the same thing. And he's straight on and Evans is through. So I guess De Vries didn't know that he did that to Evans because he didn't see it. Nope. He might just roll into that runoff area and then and then we'll get going again. But uh, we'll see. Oh no, that's exactly what we were talking about. And it's Nato. Nato into the back of Sete Camera. Ugh. Someone going to the inside, Sete Camera sends it in, he goes through fine. And then a few just sort of slither wide. Oh, and then a couple of big hits at the back, sort of out of no And then everyone piles in at the back. Very weird accident, that. Uh, yeah, I don't get that one because they've, they've, it's not the first lap. Yeah, you're they've, right. They've gone through there. Here they come, in again. So here's a look at the replay. Lynn covers the inside, Bird dummies him, and then... For, for, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that wasn't a great move by Alex. It was a very late, a very late defense. Yeah, and uh, then there was the contact, and then yeah, they went into the wall. Because yeah, oh, Bird had nowhere to go at that point. No, Bird was, Bird was committed. Um, and then it becomes a point of, you know, two, two hard-headed guys going for the same point part of the, the track. This is on board with Bird, so he goes to the outside, Lynn goes to the outside, Bird goes back to the inside, and then nowhere to go. And I then what are you doing? Look at the water, just hit a puddle. Massive oh. puddle. Oh, he's in. Wait. Yeah, and then the camera dies before he gets, this is Mortara. Watch the puddle. Nothing he can do. And then Berline must have been broken or something. Yeah, right rear was broken. The right rear was broken, had no drive. And Bird went into the back. Uh, Bird went into the back of him. Watch this. Watch, watch the water when he hits the puddle. There you go. Yeah. So there was just there was just like a puddle down there. Formula E car turns into speedboat. Oh. He came up the hill and was pushing pretty hard and didn't realize that everybody had stopped to do their practice starts. Plowed into the back of Jean-Eric Verne, wiped into Max Gunter as well. Even got hit a bit by Alex Lynn. Look, Lynn got a hit and was like, what on earth was that? This was the view from Eduardo Mortara as Turvey's car arrived spinning in front of him. And it really was a mess. I don't think you could miss it by that much. Okay, okay. Oh, man, just looks like he got a little bit loose at the beginning and had nowhere to go. Yeah. PK wow. said he's okay on the radio. Uh, here we go again from this angle. Yeah, it swings in, doesn't it, on the way in, and they just can't get it stopped. Yeah, it was just very optimistic braking marker. They have the same car that they had yesterday. De Vries hops out of the car. He tries to push it off the racing line, which is good of him. I don't think it's actually allowed the rules are that you're meant to sit and wait in the full car but epic, who, needs a, who needs a full course yellow three, when you've got nick de vries two here we one. go here comes the full, full course, course yellow, yellow now course from yellow. scott elkins the race director
Oh, <laughs> wow, a big <laughs> lock up there. <laughs> that was quite something. This is good work. From Sebastian Webb. Good this on is him. full credit, Nick DeVries. Yeah, exactly right. So he's what's it? he's going to swing it forward, and then what? Is he going to reverse it back, or has he seen the gap? There's, there's the gap. gap there. Yeah, he's helping the marshals out. Well done, Nick DeVries. Uh, the car had a, a green light on the front, so...